Well, this is chalky on a wet and windy morning and I'm trying to fish and I haven't caught very many fish since Christmas so I haven't put many YouTube videos up I try to make them as interesting as what I can do by showing things like this boat going out now he's going out fishing and there were one two three four fishermen here before I got here one went back to get his coat and uh, and none of them so um, anything it's just very 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 quiet I don't know why but you know you, people are catching fish but are they catching them in big numbers I don't think so well I, I doubt it very much and I'm using um, different types of rigs here I'm using a um, well, feathers, okay, and some people say, well, you're not allowed to use feathers down at um, Chalky, that's cheating. Well, I might be cheating a little bit. And then I've got a mackerel head on a baited line down there, which I'm just about to put out. And I've even baited four feathers and put that out. And not even the crabs want the food. Um, they are spoiled down in Chalky, but... but another fisherman down there right down there I haven't seen him jumping up for joy or catching anything yet I'll keep an eye on it well still nothing doing the winds dropped off believe it or not I know you can hear it on the, the video but um, it has dropped off I've forgotten how many times I've taken videos or pictures of rainbows I saw a pink rainbow the other day that was a weird sight but um, sunshine the wind's blowing over all the, the rain so I'm hoping to dry out a little bit with a little bit of wind and sunshine oh well back to my fishing still nothing yet well this is what I've done here I've put a chunk of mackerel on a pulley panel rig and um, in the hope that that scent from the mackerel it's quite oily it was pretty slow I mean greasy to work with although it's fresh um, I'm really hoping that that scent from that mackerel will encourage some other fish to come around here and hopefully something will take the bait well that was another unsuccessful little fishing trip Everybody, everybody says there's no fish out there. Oh, I don't know. It's just, just very, very, very bad. Yeah, just the one, yeah. It's only on baited feathers as well. Oh, so, yeah. um, yeah. but there it is, a little tub going off with its beautiful markings on its yeah. fins there. I don't know whether I can see those. Yeah, you just about see them. Right, let's get him back. Yeah. Well, this one's a little bit smaller than the last one, but another little gurnard eating that mackerel of mine. <laughs> and there he is. Look at all the beautiful colourings, as I said before, and they're one of my favourite little fish these are because of the, the way they are and the markings and everything like that. Right, I'm going to get that hook out of him and then we're going to get him back to the water. Yeah, he's just got some nasty old spiky bits. Right, there he is, on my foot, well caught Mark. You can see I did a lot of football when I was younger. Okay, let's get him back. Well, this is how I've got my fishing rod set up. Because people are walking past me all the time. I've got this one set up here. And uh, that's got baited feathers on. And so far, on this rod alone, I've caught three little tub gurnards. And the first one put up quite a bit of a fight. You know, I mean, it's a 
awkward shape fish isn't it so it's gonna drag through the water but uh, I'm waiting for that to go off again I think it will do before the end of the night I think that I think I might be able to land one more fish well that's what I'm hoping for so the other line <laughs> talking about uh, making the most of what you can find and uh, whatever now these hoops here that are actually all set in the concrete set in the wall I'd put my line I'd put my rod through that 18 pound line going out to the end of this rod and what I have got on there is I've got some um, mackerel feathers again well I'm gonna say bass feathers really they're a little bit bigger than the mackerel feathers but I've got bass feathers on that with bait on as well so if anything wants to take a take a look at that it can do so um, yeah let's just see how well I do on this little bit at least I'm catching fish again cool it's been so so quiet right I'm trying to do is to wait for this to something to have a nibble on it and then I'm gonna strike which means I'm gonna whip this back as fast as I can reeling in at the same time in the hope of um, changing that nibble changing that nibble into catching a fish and it might pay off ran by so I had to um, had to move the other rod pretty quickly I don't know whether I can show you this catching anything mm. nothing fighting at the moment but if it does I'll try and get it on film for you well I didn't really manage to get it on film for you but uh, there it is another little tub gurnard Well, this is the place for little Gurnards, isn't it? And I think this is my fourth Gurnard, something like that. Oh, 
spiky bits in them. But uh, beautiful fish. Lovely, lovely little fish. There he is. Really, really nice. That's my fourth one tonight. Only small. 